Hi, let's create a highlight video based on our codings in Intract. On the left hand side there's Intract. I create a new document and drag and drop some of the video files that I have onto my Intract. Now these are four videos from a study. I want to define a coding system. This is a very simple coding system. There's only one class and the codes are hello. This is a test. I want to use those codes later as subtitles in my video. Let's start coding. So I do this by pushing keys on my keyboard. So push the key number one here, release it, and then I got my first event. Go a little further here. Two, another one further down here, three, four, and the fifth one. So I stop recording. Very important is that we need to link those videos to this data set here, otherwise Intract wouldn't know uh, which videos belong to those events here. So let's just insert a reference multimedia to dataset and here are the file names that belong to those events here. If I want to export the video snippets that I have here when I make a double click on those events into a single result file for a presentation or um, a teaching or training or giving feedback to someone, there's a very simple way with Intract 17. Just select all those events that you want to export as a new video, go to additional, create video based on selected events, push that button and here you are. Now, we want to have one compilation that shows everything. You could also create video snippets that we use, for example, for a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. The video resolution should be uh, HD. And I want to use the video as uh, the audio of the first video only because they all contain the same audio and this might result in some echoes in the uh, resulting video. Here's the magic button that says show codes as subtitles. I have one class here. That's exactly the class that's in my original Interact document. I don't have the picture in picture possibility because I have more than uh, two videos, but I showed it later. And I want to fade between the different cuts here with a one second delay between. That's it. Not just hit OK. I export this on my desktop. Now it's being rendered. This takes a while depending on how many videos you have and how many cuts. In this case it's, as you can see, it's pretty fast. Here we go. Now that's it. I can open the video and we have a wonderful video with all source videos in one single video mixed and as you can see at the bottom there are the codes they are always shown when we see the actual cut and not between the transitions. Again here are the codes appearing as you can see here's the test appearing and disappearing. I think this is really amazing because this allows you to extremely fast create a video for, as I said, feedback and training. When I close that video and that video, for example, I relink the videos. I have now this and this video only linked to the data set and I do the same again. Now I can choose the picture-in-picture -picture function because I have only two videos and I want to say, for example, let me put this one at uh, the 
top right position with zero transparency, a third of the size of the result video. Do it again. I override that video that's on my desktop. Here you can see it's this one here is being currently created by the by this function. So this takes a few seconds. Here we are. Open the video. As you can see here, I have a wonderful picture in picture video, including my codes as subtitles and the transition effect between the different cuts. So I think that's really a wonderful function in Intract 17. Hope you like it and hope to see you soon again on any of the other demos. Thank you and goodbye.